or camping snacks or gifts um, we've used them a lot for the snacks for like the kids and um, my kids can tear through an entire bag of corn or an entire bag of the apples or the strawberries are another one of their favorite they can go through an entire bag in one sitting and I don't have to worry because the only ingredient in it is corn so I love this company I will link them down below but I have another jar here because I do have my own freeze dryer and so Ollie particularly likes the um, carrots out of here for some reason so on days when we can or weeks when we can't find fresh produce that is of good quality and of a good price we've been going the freeze dried route um, because it's healthy and it's got all the nutrient in it still so that's how we kind of budget saving tip when having an exotic animal and an exotic animal that needs fresh produce um, and veggies and stuff that's kind of how we get around that when we can't find fresh veggies. Ollie's over here eating a cashew that he found somewhere over here so let's see if he will take come on Ooh. you want some? yeah What you want? Yep, he went straight for the carrot and the corn. No surprise there. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you here. Let's go put some out there for you. Yep, he's picking out the carrots just like I knew he would. Are they good? So I know that a lot of you guys have been asking how we are able to still afford having a monkey while being on um, disability pay. And this is how, this is one of the ways. We also do grow a lot of our own fresh vegetables and produce. So that helps out as well. And um, we just try to be prepared and think ahead. We try to give Ollie stuff that's in season. So um, right now he would have things like butternut squash, apples, um, berry season we're almost out of um, here in North Carolina. So we won't be relying on fresh berries here soon. We will be using frozen berries, which Ollie doesn't mind if they're frozen or freeze dried. Um, he does not care either way, so. Let's see, he'll probably get some pumpkin here in his meal plan this month. Um, I do a lot of bulk cooking for the monkey. It seems silly, but that is also how I save time, is I will make up little batches and put it in the freezer for him. And then we can pull out one of those and defrost it and pull from that for the week as like the in-between stuff. Huh. But I will also link down below if you're ever super curious about what exactly Ollie gets fed day to day. I will link down below. I have an ebook that is all about Ollie's diet, what we feed him, and um, examples of each of his food dish bowls. You just ate, but you're still hungry, huh? So you see the only thing that he left over here is the green beans. That's funny. He'll eat frozen green beans, but freeze dried ones, if there's other things, he will pick at those first. Then he'll go back for the beans.
or not. <laughs> He's just throwing them on the ground. Yeah, you want the corn? I wasn't gonna open it because we brought the jar up here. Yeah, I was gonna let everybody else have those ones. No, you gotta have it. What about everybody else? Hmm? Did you poo poo? It stinks over here now. Yeah. Why don't you take some more from the jar so we don't gotta open up the big bag, silly. Yeah. You're gonna need help, monk. I, t I twisted it, but I'm trying to do it one-handed. Can you do it? Can you turn it? Can you turn it? There you go. Yeah, there you go. See how smart they are? Oh, I don't think we've done a twist top like this in a while. There we go. Wow. Look at you, Monk. Good job, Ollie. You know how to get this off? This? Can you do it? Hmm? Look. Mmm, those are yummy, huh? Well, I'm glad you like them. You gotta figure it out. You can do it. There you go. You got a whole fistful of deliciousness, huh? So if you're a parent who struggles getting your kids to eat their vegetables, I highly suggest getting some freeze-dried ones. Because for some reason, they just taste so much better. Taking out the moisture content really brings out the flavor of the food. So like the sweet corn is like super sweet. Pretty tasty, huh? I just don't want you to tip the whole jug over. So now that Ollie's had his hands in here, this will be Ollie's jar that I pull from this week. So just in case anybody was wondering if we plan to eat out of that, um, we do not, but I honestly would have no problem feeding anybody out of that, but for those of you who um, are very weird about that, we definitely get lots of questions like that about like sharing food with Ollie and Ollie taking food off of our plates, stuff like that. I'm going to put it on a little bit harder this time. Can you do it? Good job. Look at that brain go in. Boom. I feel like he's so proud of himself right now. He's like, oh yeah, oh, and we lick in the lick in the lid. Okay. Was that fun? Yeah. Alright guys, I think Ollie's getting sleepy now that he's had his snack. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you are new. Check out the links in our description box. We will see you in the next video. Bye.